Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another kind of resolutions video. I just put up uh, my project pan video before this one. So that was the first one of my new 2019, uh, I wouldn't say resolutions, but introduction to the year and uh, how I'm gonna run about it. Um, other than doing a project pan, I am following the hashtag team project pan uh, group uh, started by Kat and Haley um, from Beauty News. And um, yeah, I also want to go on a low buy. It seems like it's the year of the low buy. To be honest, I have been on a no buy for December and I knew I had to do that because after Black Friday, I spent a lot of money, bought a lot of makeup and I was just saturated. I was just, at some point I had bought something only because I had a gift card to use and I didn't even know why I had bought it. So I really, really needed a detox. December was my detox from buying makeup. I didn't buy anything. I was very happy about it. Also kind of like less tempted. There were one or two things that really, really tempted me, but uh, watching videos, especially from uh, Anna Louise Poston, um, I discovered her via the monochroma uh, makeup challenge that I did in Teal. Uh, she started that, so uh, then after that I started watching her videos and she had done a whole no buy year. And she has a lot of tips in December about how to set yours up and things like that. I know a lot of people have started a no buy and uh, yeah, I am gonna add on. I know it's not very original, but yeah, I think I have enough makeup now for a while and with running a project pan, I want to see how little I can buy. The original inspiration for the way I'm setting it up is actually Kat and Haley from uh, Indeed Beauty News, but they also have their own channels which are Kitsch Snitch and Just Buy The Makeup. Please go follow them, they're awesome. Um, but they were having a, a no buy or a low buy for all of 2018 and they stopped um, around three quarters of the way saying, yeah, that's, uh, that was enough for me, it worked. And uh, um, I kind of want to do a similar thing in the sense it's not going to be a full year. I am going to uh, commit to six months and uh, then see how it goes after that reassess. What my rules are, are pretty simple. Um, I'm gonna be free to replenish uh, if I don't have anything from a category. So this will include uh, skincare uh, and makeup, uh, obviously, but I don't see myself running out of makeup anytime soon. I have foundations to go and co concealers to go. So um, that is one thing. Skincare will be something that I will have to replenish, but that I am free to do. If I have nothing else that can take that place, then I want to have my full um, uh, routine as I am used to. Then uh, um, I will give myself uh, three new products per month that I will be able to purchase. And I hope that this will mean that I don't get um, really sad, depressed or bored, but that I will stop buying on impulse for every new release that will come out. So um, I think this will give me the time to digest the releases and make more informed decisions and not jump on anything um, as it comes out. So that is going to be, uh, I guess, quite a big difference. If you've seen my monthly hauls of this year, there were way more than three products. I have to say that uh, single eyeshadows will not count as a single product, but as one packaged product in itself, because otherwise I love single shadows and they're one of the things that I like collecting. So that is going to be a bit of a flexibility that I give myself. Um, I want to do a hybrid empties and haul type of video um, because I'm not going to have enough to talk about for a monthly haul. Um, I'm hoping to have more for my empties. So I want to do that. And last year I tracked my total expenditure of the year. So um, you might have seen my finale of my reverse rouge. I reached a thousand euros that I wanted to finish in uh, 2018. This year I would like to keep a balance of how much I spend and how much I finish and see if at the end of the year I am um, possibly finishing more than I buy. I don't know that that is going to be completely true, but we can try and see at least. Um, what I'm interested in seeing is um, if, since I spent a lot in 2018, I actually can finish more than spend in 2019 to um, then in enter sort of a 
size of my makeup collection where I buy one only when I finish one and that uh, will count especially for base products uh, so foundations concealers primers um, I am sure I will not be able to finish lipsticks or, or eyeshadows or blushes things like that but um, as I mentioned in my last video about the project pan color makeup and color in general is the reason why I do makeup I love color I love playing with color I love matching my makeup to my outfits I, I color is just my thing and uh, I don't want to give that up that is the joy of makeup to me like before playing with color I didn't care. like I didn't start wearing foundation until I was already doing eyeshadows and and things like that it was really it was really the the color that brought me into this uh, um, passion and this hobby so I don't want to stop that um, I will need to find a balance with uh, lip products because I am going out of my mind with so many lip products that I have we're gonna start by panning one lipstick uh, as you have seen in my last video but um, I need to start or to stop actually uh, buying all of the same these terracotta nudes that look so good on me I need to stop buying those so that said, these are kind of the rules that I set myself uh, for this uh, low buy and uh, let's see how it goes. I have already started writing down a wish list though, which is really scary because I have things that I've wanted to buy. For example, a sugar pill taco. I need one white uh, eyeshadows and I have no white eyeshadows in my whole collection, matte that is. And uh, I think that's crazy and I've missed it all year but uh, sugar pill taco has been out of stock for so long because they reformulated it so I'm waiting for that to relaunch to get it so I already have products on my uh, on my wish list and um, but it's products like this that I want to be buying stuff that I've wanted for a long time um, and things like that so that is going to be um, the core of my low buy then uh, another little things that I want to do together with tracking um, my expenditure and how much I finish, is also tracking how long it takes me to finish products. So for example, on my skincare, I already started um, to write the month and the year when I opened it. Um, this is my day cream, for example. I started it in October and I'm actually down to here. So um, this, for example, will be done within three months. And this is a 30 euro product. Do I want to spend 30 euros for something that I use every three months? I can probably tell you already that yes, because this is the best sunscreen uh, and day cream that I ever had. But um, it's something to think about. Uh, same thing, uh, for example, this vitamin C powder from The Ordinary. I opened it in uh, November. It will last me forever. Uh, but some smaller bottles. This one actually, uh, I finished my oil last night. So this will I will open tonight. Um, I don't know. I want to see how long it takes me. I would like to track what types of product I use the most and how long those take me to finish. Um, just a little bit of spreadsheeting. I love spreadsheets. <laughs> so that is what uh, I am going to do for uh, the rest uh, of the year, at least the first six months for the low buy. I want to see how it goes. Um, going cold turkey never worked for me, um, but this month of December really taught me that I can um, not buy makeup that that's simple as that um there are a few things that i know i am better at for example i am uh, good at only buying things when they're in sale but on the other hand of that is i'll buy things i don't need when they're on sale so the balance of there uh, with this low buy i hope to reach it i hope to only buy these few things i want when they're on sale so then I will not spend a lot of money but I will have what I want and uh, need rather than what I feel like I want to try because having a, a, a channel and uh, yeah, I know I don't do uh, blogging a lot lately but it takes too much time um, it means that I try a lot of products and since I'm not a big channel I don't receive it um, and uh, it means I have to pay for it myself so if I could just rein it in a little bit and not look to try so many products but more um, other type of content um, I hope that will work out for both of us you guys and me
I will have uh, quite a few videos related to this. I already filmed my yearly declutter. The one last year from 2017 was super fun. That was really needed because I was moving from uh, the US to Europe and I had to bring my makeup with me. So I really, really, really narrowed down my collection then. It has re-exploded this year um, and I already did my declutter with um, getting rid of some stuff, not as much as last year of course, but uh, some stuff. I also know that I'm making a little bit more informed uh, purchases lately, so I like that. I want to film for you guys um, my backups, so my stash of things that I have uh, extra of or that, uh, for example, foundations that I have in my drawer, in my backup drawers, which are those there. Um, and uh, what skincare I have backups of and things like that. I want to um, keep doing this monochromatic makeup challenge that uh, Hannah Louise Poston uh, started. The TO one was super fun and hard and uh, I am already planning on doing one more for the month of January and then seeing if I can do it once a, mo once a month. I think it's cool to try and there's a lot of colors and every uh, season has its own color so I, I would like to try to do that and uh, well just to go further with my swatches comparisons and dupes I know that I stopped doing that because um, the whole situation with Makeup Geek discontinuing most of their eyeshadows to rebrand next year that is actually for me quite a pity because I am not gonna have the money in general to buy 40 new shades of eyeshadows in one go to follow what Makeup Geek is doing and now duping palettes with the, the huge uh, collection I have will not um, help anybody because you cannot purchase those shades anymore and same, same works with my collection of Colourpop. They change so fast and living abroad I'm not gonna uh, keep up with all the uh, eyeshadows that they discontinue and I'm gonna keep using it's not like I'm gonna throw them away so those will be a little bit harder to do but uh, if you're still interested in doing those and especially when there's palettes I want that I need to convince myself I will keep doing those um, they're like of public usefulness I guess but more for myself <laughs> in a very um, egoistic way and then uh, what I have uh, uh, been doing is also an inventory of my makeup collection so I went to my uh, excel sheet and did an inventory of how many products per category I have and I'd like to go through them with you right now so that we're all shocked together and stick to this low buy starting with maybe the category I have the most issues with or I feel like I have the most issues with liquid lipsticks uh, um, we're talking satin and matte I have 76 of them Glosses, uh, I have 28 of them and keeping in mind that I just started buying glosses this year, that's been a problem. Uh, lipsticks, regular lipsticks and bullets that is, we're at 66. We are at uh, 62 face brushes, 118 eye brushes and uh, eyeshadow palettes. I actually only have 17 of them, which is a surprise. Um, but the trick comes when we look at my eyeshadow pan so these single shadows that fit into the magnetic palette I have 452 of those I know it's it's my collection it's my babies then uh, for face palettes I only have six at the moment highlighters I have 13 compacts and three pans for blush I have 18 compacts and 21 pans and for bronzers and contours I have eight compacts and four pans um, eye pencils were at 48. I have one per color and then some. Uh, lip pencils, I have 29 of them and taking into account that I don't use them at all, uh, maybe that should be a good resolution. Use my lip liners. Foundations, I have 10. Um, concealers, 11. Powders, 14. I would like these to go down to two or three per category if possible. Like a lighter coverage and a fuller coverage and for powders, um, one or two pressed to one or two loose max. Liquid eyeshadow, so these are actually glitters or like the Supernova by Colourpop. I have 13. I have 13 pigments and I have five single eyeshadows. I'm talking uh, the Colourpop ones here. I have 25 glitter pots, even though I almost never use them. 
I have 10 cream eyeshadows both in a pot and in a stick pencil type thing. Um, I have four cream eyeliners, so gel eyeliners, um, 17 liquid eyeliners and counting that I, I really do not use liquid liner ever except for like uh, makeup looks for Instagram, that's a lot of uh, liquid liners. I have 14 brow products ranging from pomades, pencils and um, brow gels, so that will take forever to go through. Uh, I have 8 makeup sponges, 7 mascaras and 79 colorful nail polish. I didn't count my bases there because they're all half finished and those aren't uh, really a big deal. Um, but yeah, so uh, plus or minus a few things. My collection is around 1132 pieces. Um, I'm sure I missed a few things here and there of, of categories, but these were the big categories and I would really, really like to see this go down a lot. Um, it's a lot. I have a lot. I also know that I don't have as much as other people, but it doesn't really matter um, because for me, I just have a lot. And I also was looking around on my desk. I just saw two, three new glosses. So glosses were up at 31. <laughs> there we go. Um, so this is the situation right now. I want to improve it. I want to keep it a little bit under control. This is my hobby, my passion. Um, I love it, but I think it was a little bit uh, out of control lately. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know down below what your goals for this new year makeup wise are. And uh, I will try to keep you up to date about how this Saloba is going. I will be doing uh, monthly um, hauls and stuff like that because I want to show you what I buy and uh, the thought process behind it to see also, uh, how the low buy is going, how my psychological status is, and uh, see if that changes through the year. I would really, really like to have a little bit of a healthier relationship with shopping and not shop um, for simply for boredom or things like that. I am uh, really curious to hear from uh, you guys down in the comments below. And uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and to subscribe to my channel to keep up with my updates. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.